Hello guys, good morning. Good morning guys. Good morning sir. Good morning sir. Mm -hmm. How was your weekend? It was pretty good. That's good. Uh, let me just start my view. Sir, Thomas Williamson is trying to get on right now. It's, it's, it's struggling with his computer. His Wi-Fi is not working really well. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, let me just start with uh, your presence. So, Elbosh, uh, one minute. Let me pause to see you guys. So, okay. And the first name is Elberston Matthew. Elberston Matthew. Guys, please. Elberston Matthew. But the area, but the area, hello, can you hear me? But the area, Carpenter Caleb, I can't hear you guys. Carpenter Caleb. Uh, there's a decent amount of people not here, sir. Why? What's the reason? Uh, Davis Alexis. Glasgow Robert. Here. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Albert Stone is not here, but the idea is not here. Carpenter is not here and Davis Alex is not here. So one, two, four. Okay, then Glasgow Robert is here, right? Glasgow Robert? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Gonzalez, Gonzalez Judith? Gonzalez Judit, Havener Campon, Janel Christopher, Yarka Andrew, yes, sir. Zarka Andrew, okay, Laini Cooper. Maza Hilve Lazara. Here, sir. Thank you. Then Pardu Virginia. Here, sir. Are you Virginia? Yes. Howell Walker. Powell Walker. Then Rainburger Payton. Here, sir. Self Charles. Here, sir. Thank you. Simon Rice. Uh, yes. Simon Rice. Here. Okay. And now uh, Soto Girao Jonathan. Here, sir. Thank you. Taylor Ismail. Yes, sir. To Nicholas. 
Here, sir. Vision Marcel. Here, sir. Williamson Thomas, I think uh, he has. He's some... trying to connect. Me. Okay, okay. No problem. Right yeah, probably he will join us soon. Hopefully. Yes, sir. Rachel. Here, sir. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, anybody join us? If I have not spoken uh, his or her name. I did. Really? I joined. Who? Uh, I joined. Caleb Carpenter. Yeah, but the idea is always late, right? Always have to speak your name four, five, seven times. Be careful. Uh, sir, I thought we were starting anyway. class at 7.45. So I was here at 7.40. 7.45? That's what we decided, guys. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. I thought it's 7.30, 7.30, 7.35. Anyway. That is good. So, um, maybe, I don't know, Ben. That's, that's the reason why other people are not here right now. I don't know, guys. Let me check uh, my uh, Sir, I think there's... Oh, I got the message from a uh, couple guys. Today's Cal 2 class. Good morning, sir. I am down to South Carolina on vacation. Vacation? Oh, my God. How one could go for the vacation at the time of... Okay. That's fine. Okay, hey guys. So, yeah. How is your preparation going on for the test? You are taking your test tomorrow, right? It's all going rough. Yeah. All going rough. rough. Why? I know. It's a... Uh, 128 so problems. Say again? 128 problems. <laughs> Don't count the problems. Count the articles. You know, if I give you... If you look at the book, there are more than 528 examples. I just scrutinized the examples and gave you very few out of them. Right? And uh, summer always goes like these guys. Cooperate me. I don't want to put you in trouble. I, I, you don't know, but I, that's not my nature. But uh, we have to go through varieties of examples. And you know that I went through lots of examples. If you look at the videos and all these things, we went through lots of things. Different kind of examples so that you can come to different techniques too. Anyway, so today is uh, just a kind of review session. Am I right, guys? And tomorrow morning at 8, you are taking your exam. That's what we have decided. Is it okay, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sounds okay. perfect, sir. So, because our exam time is just one hour. So, again, let me ask you guys what you decide. You want to learn something after the exam? Or you just want... Uh, uh, absolutely not, sir. Say again? No. no sir. <laughs> I know yeah. mainly, no, sir. John, mainly I know that is for you because uh, I don't want you to take your exam uh, uh, feeling sleepy. I know. And that's not your fault. I agree. It's not your fault. And that's why we decided to go for the exam at 8 so that it is a little bit good time for you at 6 in the Colorado. I agree. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, guys. But it's no like, because always, I, always, always I see this thing and I really don't feel good. Trust me, I don't feel good, but I don't have any other option. We have to follow the order. Yeah, I understand completely. I mean, I'm working with what uh, I can get, but like, I think that test, that hour, I'm going to be literally locked in and then doing work afterwards. It's just a struggle, a struggle. Anyway, guys, I know that this is really very important exam for you and this exam that is helpful to you and this material that will be really helpful to you for your further courses like uh, 311, DFQ, Advanced Math, 301, your calc three, all these courses. So, yeah, so please try to cooperate with me. And that's the reason I told you that please try to go through all the practice test assignments so that if you have some doubt, we can discuss those doubts over here. If you have some doubt in your practice test, let me start your doubts, your queries after some time. Let me just finish the things which I wanted to convey you first. And then after, we will go for the review session. Of course, is only we are starting the reviews, but uh, let me just go through a few new examples and then after we can, I will ask you for your doubts. Huh, what is this? So if I want to share my screen. Okay, guys, look at here. So I told you last time, let me go through these indeterminate forms again because uh, you know, Virginia, she just joined us today. So just for her, let me start this article from the beginning. 
uh, very quickly in terminate forms and the al hospitals rule virginia for you and for other guys it's a revision very frequently you will be using this thing yeah in your cal 3 sometimes dfq in applications where sometimes it is not possible to go through the limit of the given function very straightforward way yeah sometimes i mean to say whenever your function is following any one of these rules there are six indeterminate indeterminate forms one is zero over zero. Second one, second one. These two are known as the standard indeterminate forms. Oh, sorry. These two are the standard indeterminate forms. Third form is zero times infinity and infinity minus infinity. Whenever you have any one of these two forms, please try to convert this form in any one of these two, either zero over zero or infinity over infinity, because this is the standard form. A standard form, I mean to say that. Once your function is in any one of these two first two forms, only then you can apply L hospital rule. Otherwise, you cannot. So, because indeterminate forms can be evaluated using the L hospital rule, you have to convert your function in terms of any one of these two, so that you can apply L hospital rule. That is the you can say rule. Last three forms they are the exponential form: zero to the power zero, one to the power infinity, and infinity to the power zero. Zero to the power zero. 1 to the power infinity and infinity to the power 0. Whenever you are working with this exponential rule, I think I did not take any of the examples of the exponential form last time. We will take those examples today, at least one or two, at least two examples. So these examples, I mean, say, forms cannot be converted directly to the standard form. These examples, these forms will go to either one of these two forms and then after you can convert that form to the standard form to apply L hospital. So that is the theme behind the indeterminate forms. L hospital rule says that's the easiest way to apply the L hospital rule that whenever you have a quotient to, fun to functions f and g, both are continuous function contain some points c except possibly that uh, differentiable, uh, differentiability is not there at the point c and your denominator is at the point c is not equal to zero it has to be different from zero otherwise that doesn't make sense whenever you have this one and if this quotient follows any one of these six forms mainly actually first two forms first two forms then after you can take the individual derivative of numerator and individual derivative of denominator denominator don't go for quotient rule don't go for quotient rule provided this limit exists existence of the limit must be there otherwise you can't do anything and then after first example e to the power 2x and you have to mention your forms like this e to the power 2x minus 1 over x if you apply x equal to 0 e to the power 0 is 1 minus 1 is 0 so that's why 0 here x replaced by 0 so here it is 0 over 0 form standard indeterminate form so i can directly go for the derivative means l hospitals rule for numerator and denominator so 2 times to the power 2x is a derivative of numerator derivative of denominator is simply 1 cooper pay attention simply 1 and that is equal to if you apply now the limit it is 2 whenever you just get uh, you are just out of this indeterminate forms that will provide you the answer otherwise every time you have to apply the l hospital rule every time just it's a repetition it's a chain of um, it's a chain of repetition just every time you apply this rule it extends to negative infinity x square by e to the power negative x and if you have replaced this x by negative infinity you can get infinity divided by infinity this will follow infinity divided by infinity and then after because it is against the standard indeterminate forms, infinity divided by infinity, take the derivative of 2x, negative to power negative x, right? But again, if you apply negative infinity over here, so 2 times negative infinity is negative infinity, power negative infinity is, you can visualize this function, look at over here. I don't bother about negative sign, just keep this negative sign outside, and e to the power neg negative x can be written as 1 over e to the power x. Now x replaced by, or you can replace e to the power negative infinity, I don't mind. So this is e to the power infinity, right? e to the power infinity is infinity, negative sign is already outside, so it is inf negative infinity. Negative negative will get cancelled out and you are going to get infinity divided by infinity. That means again, it's a standard indeterminate form. So I can again go further derivatives. So it is derivative of 2x is 2, 
this is e to the power negative x. And if I apply the limit over here, I'm getting zero. I'm just out of the indeterminate forms. And that's my answer. That's my answer, right? Here, this example contains a second type, zero times infinity. So you have to be particular arranging your form, this form in any one of the first two standard forms. So if I write this function in the form of root x by e to the power x, so I'm getting infinity over infinity. And that's why it is essential. It is essential. It is mandatory for you guys to mention your form, just side to the example, just right side to the example, right? If you don't apply, if you don't write your form, and if you apply, the, if you just keep applying the limits frequently, continuously, and if you claim for the full points, no, you are losing your points. Don't blame me, please. So, then after this standard form, take the derivative of numerator and denominator again, and that would give you zero. That's the answer. And then after one of the examples, see, I, I took different kind of examples over here. One, two, three, so zero over zero, infinity over infinity, zero times infinity. My next example that was infinity times zero, right? So one over x squared e to the power negative x. Please be careful. I told you that I actually started with e to the power reverse form, e to the power negative x and x square. And you can see over here after sometimes I just got stuck. Look at here. It doesn't work because a derivative of e to the power x goes on continuing for infinite times. Here also the same situation occurs. So that's why what I did, I just converted my form to this form. Look at over here, just after this box because this, this form doesn't work. So let me just revise it. Let me just revise my form or let me take the reverse way of the form. So if I take suppose uh, from this one, e to the power negative x and x cube. If I take x to the power negative three and here it is e to the power negative x. You can start from here too. You can start with x to the power negative two divided by e to the power one over x. So that will provide you infinity or infinity form. From right from beginning, you can write x to the power negative two, something like this to get here. Um, limit x tends to 0 plus and x to the power negative 2 and e to the power 1 over x. And e to the power, it is x tends to 0, 1 over uh, 0 is infinity divided by e to the power 0 infinity over infinity. Like this. Look at here, guys. Just look at my blue pen. Right? Infinity by infinity. And then you can go for the derivative. So you are going to get this derivative and then go for furthermore derivatives of numerator and denominator individually, you're going to get this form. And finally, see, after applying three, four times indeterminate forms, four times in this example, finally you're getting zero. So make sure that whenever you apply your function at that time, uh, uh, apply a hospital's rule at that time, your function must be in the appropriate form so that you can apply this one. My another form is infinity by infinity. See, I took different type of examples so that you can't, face any problem and you can solve these examples very easily. I told you that whenever you want to solve the practice test assignment or if you want to solve any unsolved problem, first of all, please, please, please try to go through our class notes twice. First of all, try to go through everything because I'm explaining you everything each and every time. So try to solve the examples, just separate piece of paper without looking at the material. Try to solve, suppose one example, number five. Limit x tends to 1 plus ln x minus 1 over x minus 1, right? Write it down in a separate piece of paper. Try to solve it. You will get stuck. You will get some problem. Fine. Keep your screen open in front of you. And then after, once you're stuck at some point, try to look at the things. Oh, this is the point I just forgot. This is the point I didn't realize. This is the point I didn't get in the class. Okay, try to convince your, yourself. If not, write it down in a separate piece of paper. In the review session, I'm going to ask this thing to my professor, to my teacher. This should be the way of learning. Every person has different way of learning. But please, I am teaching you right now how to learn math. Math is not like this that you can learn over here and then after you can pick any of the examples of your choice and try to solve it. No, it's not like that. You have to go through the class notes two, three times. If, and then after you will be feeling confident. Once you are confident, only after that you can attack on unsolved examples. Otherwise, every time you will be stuck and you are just wasting your time. Don't do this thing, guys. At least go through our class notes twice. I explain to you everything. If you think that, oh, I didn't pay attention because of some reason today, that's fine. Because some disconnectivity, some connecting issue, fine. Go to YouTube. I post everything on YouTube just because of you guys. 
go through youtube try to refer the lecture again virginia are you hearing me i just replied you yesterday night that try to go over all videos all the videos are there on the youtube if you are facing any problem just ask these guys all guys are really really good in this section everyone is really very cooperative so if you have any problem just ask them and they will help you out guys virginia just join us today because of some problems i don't know the problem but somehow i don't want to go into detail of that but please if she asks something please cooperate her guys please if somebody is willing to do some good job hard work please cooperate please guys please try to help her out please and i am also there for her for everyone anyway guys so that's the way of learning i'm just teaching you how to make yourself prepare for the exam and that's not just my exam that's for everyone suppose you are engineering major stem major everyone always try to go through your class work first always because so many times the things are not given in the book and your teacher is explaining the same thing to you in a very easier way and that will get that's the main reason to attend the classes right why i force you guys just to attend the classes because so many times i told you in my difficult course yeah so many times i just go outside the book outside the book means the things are not given in the book and i just give them some simple techniques so that they can they can use that one and try to solve the examples very easily yeah so just because and if you are going to learn the same thing by your own you will be wasting lots of your time but if you are attending the if you are attending the classes try to pay attention so many times you are going to get some tricks they would say hidden tricks from your professor yeah and that will save your time that will give you good ideas that will help you a lot but that's my opinion otherwise it's your exam you have to decide how to prepare yourself you have to decide but i just would like to give you the advice if you want to follow it that sounds good to me otherwise i don't mind okay let's go for one example this is infinity minus infinity look at over here if i apply x equal to 1 so 1 over ln 1 is 0 1 over 0 is infinity 1 over 1 minus 1 is 0 1 over infinity minus infinity form i meant send over here look at here then after i just went for because this infinity minus infinity is not the standard form i need to convert this one in any one of our first two standard indeterminate forms so that's why let me just take the lcm this common divisor x minus 1 minus ln of x divided by this one this is my lcm x minus 1 times this one don't forget to put the bracket you guys sometimes are getting really very lazy and if you write x minus 1 times ln x that means it is just x minus ln x whole meaning is different and your example will be wrong cooper are you getting me cooper are you getting me yes sir devis alexis rachel yes sir virginia yes sir i got you where is devis alexis she didn't send any mail to me here you are here okay yes. i spoke your name four times and i couldn't find you i said i said i was here when you you spoke at the first oh, time i'm sorry i couldn't hear you okay guys so once i go for this lcm look at here where is my cursor what's wrong what's wrong with the cursor Ooh. wrong with this hmm. no hmm. accidentally i press something and my cursor is not there to anyway guys let me continue with this example first i think uh, you are following me so we are getting zero over zero form because if you apply x x equal to or x equal to 1 from positive side so 1 minus 1 is 0 ln 1 is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 so numerator is 0 denominator is x minus 1 x is replaced by 1 1 minus 1 is 0 times ln of 1 is 0 so denominator is 0 denominator is 0 so it's 0 over 0 form standard indeterminate form and that's why
And that's why now I can go for the dead numerator. Something is wrong with my cursor. So only once you get it into one of the standard indeterminate forms, that's the only time you can do a low Pitot's rule, right? Correct. Correct. It has to be either zero over zero or infinity over infinity. Okay, guys. Then after, now without cursor, how can I? Guys, I'm getting some noise, please. Okay, guys. Then look at the third line. Limit x tends to 1 plus derivative of x is 1. Negative 1 is 0. ln x is 1 over x. So 1 minus 1 over x. Denominator is a product rule. So x minus 1 over x plus ln x. x minus 1. That is as it is. Derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So x minus 1 over nx plus ln x as it is. And derivative of x minus 1 is simply 1. So denominator, you have to use the product rule, your calc 1. Right, guys? Then after let me write this one in the simplified form. So numerator, I'm taking the LCM again. LCM is x in the numerator. So it is x minus 1 divided by x. Denominator, LCM is x. So x minus 1 times x times ln x divided by x. x from numerator and denominator will get cancelled out. And my simplified form is limit x tends to 1 plus x minus 1 over x minus 1 plus x, x times ln x. If I apply the limit now, x minus 1 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0 in the numerator, denominator ln 1 is 0, x minus 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, so 0 over 0 form. Again, standard form, again one more derivative. Derivative of numerator is 1 divided by x minus 1. Derivative of x minus 1 is 1 plus x times ln x, again product rule, x times ln x. Derivative of x is 1, so it is ln x, and Derivative of ln x is 1 over x, so it is x by x, so that is 1. Means I'm getting last line look at here, limit x tends to 1 plus 1 over 2 plus ln x. Now if you apply, if you apply x equal to 1, if you replace x by 1, so it is 2, 1 over 2 plus ln of 1 is 0. So it is 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is the answer. So 1 by 2. I can't move my cursor, guys. I think I need to uh what? I don't know what to do, but Cursor is not moving. Uh, should I stop this video and start again? Because I think something goes wrong. Is it okay, guys? Yeah. Just join me immediately because without uh, moving my cursor, it's hard for me. It just moved. Oh, I got it. I got it. That's my fault. Yep, I got it. Actually, yesterday, you know, I just started. I wasted. Yeah, I wasted. I would say two hours to fix this tablet. Wake up. It's not that good. Nope. I will let you know. See, it's not that good. Suppose I want to solve an example using wake up. And if I put my pen on wake up, my this cursor will not work. Yes, yeah, so I have to have this pen outside this tablet so that I can play with my cursor here. Anyway, guys, so look at over here. My answer is where, where I was. Yeah, answer is one by two for the last example. Answer was what? No, it's not one by two, right? Where, where I was? Yeah, here. Okay. Next page. Now, this is very important example, guys. Look at here. Limit x tends to zero, uh, so infinity, one plus one over x to the power x. Let me try to use Wacom, my tablet. Yeah, I just try to give you my best, guys, but sometimes, you know, technology hurts. But let me do something like this. Uh, if I want to share, suppose, let me stop sharing this one. And limit x tends to infinity. Just give me this example. Limit x tends to infinity, 1 plus 1 over x to the power x. Let's try this, Wilkov. If uh, I don't like this thing because I tried yesterday and lots of problems are there. But let me just show it to you. And if you guys feel good, we can continue. Otherwise, we'll keep this one aside. Uh, where I was. Mm, stop setting. Okay, stop setting this one. And now let me share my whiteboard. 
Can you look at this whiteboard, guys? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, my example was. My example. What What was the example? Will any one of you please help me? No. Yeah. What was the? Uh, sir, I think it was uh, one over L. Y equal to limit. And then. X approaches one from the positive side. Say again. X approaches one from the positive side. X equal to one. No, X approaches one from the positive side. Are you sure? No, I. That's what I remember. Anybody else? It was something like this: one plus one over X to the power X something X tends to infinity something like that. What is the example? Let me let me double check. Let I have that file open over here. So let me just double check. Mm, no, why not? I think it's uh, one plus one over x uh, raised okay. all raised to x. Yeah, it is in limit uh, x tends to infinity one plus one over x to the power x. Got it. Okay. Okay. So limit x tends to infinity, one plus one over x to the power x. That is equal to. Now you can see over here in this form, guys. Oops. Mm, please don't consider this one. Or well, let me. Erase this one. Okay. Uh, this is one of the textbook examples, right, sir? Yes, of course. And now text. And this one. Okay. So limit one plus one over x to the power x. That is equal to. Now, here, if you apply x tends to infinity, one over infinity is zero. So it is. 1 to the power infinity. This form is 1 to the power infinity. Guys, whenever you have some infinity form at that time, always try to think about the Allen function. If you are working with any of the exponential form, but here, but here, whenever you are working with any of the exponential form, whether it is infinity to power 0 to the power 0, 1 to the power infinity, or infinity to the power 0, out of these three exponential form, always convert that one function in terms of ln form. So I can write ln of y that is equal to ln of big bracket. You can write limit x tends to infinity and 1 plus 1 over x to the power x, like this. Now, you can see limit is a continuous function. ln is a continuous function. So first of all, let me write like this. I can write the same function in the form of limit x tends to infinity. And here it is ln of 1 plus 1 over x to the power x. 1 over x to the power x. And that is equal to, that is equal to. Now if you look at over here, 1 plus x to the power x, again it is 1 to the power infinity form. But ln, I am going to use my ln property. One of the properties of ln function is ln of a to the power b. That is equal to b times ln of a. You know this thing. So let me use that property over here. So let me see limit x tends to infinity and here you are going to get x times ln of 1 plus 1 over x. x times ln of 1 plus 1 over x. Right? I just use this property. Look at over here. I can always take, this is my b actually. I can always take my exponent as a coefficient over here, as a product. So that's what I did over here. Now if you have every step, you have to check your limits. If you apply limit over here, so x tends to infinity. So I'm going to get that is equal to infinity times 1 over x is 1 over infinity is 0. ln 1 plus 0 is 1. ln 1 is 0. So it is infinity times 0 form. See, the exponential form I have converted to the second category. Exponential form is now converted to second category. All right? Infinity minus infinity or infinity times 0 form. But that's not even the standard form. Still, it's not standard form. So that is equal to limit 
extends to infinity. And here I can write, look at over here, guys. Shall I write like this? ln of 1 plus 1 over x divided by this x I would like to write. This x I would like to write in the form of 1 over x. If you write like this, yeah. If you write like this, in that case, what will happen? That uh, x is equal to infinity. 1 over infinity is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. ln 1 is 0. So I'm getting 0 in the numerator. 1 over infinity is 0 in the denominator. That means I'm getting the standard indeterminate form. That means I can go for L. Hopital's rule. I can go for L Hopital's rule. And that is equal to, once I have the L Hopital's rule, I can always go for the deri uh, derivative. You know this thing that limit extends to infinity. Now, derivative of numerator, ln of u. Suppose 1 plus 1 over x is u. So ln of u is 1 over u. So 1 over 1 plus 1 over x. Inside the bracket, chain rule, derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x square. Negative 1 over x square. So that is my numerator. My denominator derivative is negative 1 over x square. Negative 1 over x square. You can see over here, this is a product. This is one function, this is second function. You can remove this zero. Is it negative 1 over x square? So this negative 1 over x square and x square will get cancelled out. That means you are getting simply limit x to infinity. Limit x tends to infinity and 1 over 1, 1 over 1 plus 1 over x. If you apply x tends to infinity, look at here, guys. So 1 over infinity is 0. 1 over infinity is 0. Am I right? And that means I'm getting 1 over 1 plus 0 and that is equal to 1. But that's not the answer. That's not the answer because you can look at the left-hand side. Left-hand side is your ln of y. And ln of y equal to 1 you are getting. That means y is equal to, y is this function. Look at the first line. Look at the first line y equal to limit 1 plus 1 over x to the power n. That is y. So if you are looking for y here, that means you have to have e to the power 1. So e is the answer. That is your answer. E is the answer. Are you getting me, guys? Right? So whenever you have any of the exponential yes, form, first try to convert that exponential form in the either one of the zero time, zero my infinity times, zero form or in infinity minus infinity form and then convert that one to the standard form so that you can apply l hospital rule so that you can apply l hospital rule guys okay good So let me stop sharing this one and uh, let me share my screen now. So that's what I did over here. And now C equal to 2.72. I just changed the example. This example, instead of one over X, I just would like to give you X and here it is one over X, just the reverse way of the first example. And instead of limit X tends to zero, in infinity now it is zero. Again, you are going to get one, 1 to the power infinity like this. Take ln both the sides. ln is a continuous function or limit is a continuous function. Just apply that rule. ln property, same thing. And you will be getting the answer. Right? One more form, limit sine to the power, sine x to the power x. x tends to 0. 0 to the power, sine 0 is 0. x is 0, 0 to the power 0 form. Another exponential form, take ln both the sides. Take this limit out and ln inside. Use the ln property limit ln a to the power b is b times ln of a. Again, apply limit. It is 0 times infinity because sine 0 is sine 0 is 0. ln of 0 is negative infinity. Because of this negative x tends to x approaching to 0 in, from negative side, negative negative will be positive. So it is 0 times infinity form. Limit x tends to 0 minus of ln of sine x. I just rearrange my form so that I can get, I can convert the second form to the first form. Infinity or infinity form. Standard form. L hospitals is applicable. Go for the derivative. Ln of u is 1 over u times derivative of u. So 1 over sine x and cosine x. 
1 over x derivative is negative 1 over x square. Simplify this one, cosine over sine is cotangent. Infinity over infinity form again, one more derivative. Now, if you take like this, see infinity over infinity, derivative of cotangent x, tangent, cotangent, tangent, cotangent like this. 1 over x square, it will be again increasing the power every time. But if I reach, rearrange this term, if I write x square over negative tangent x, so again it is 0 over 0 form. See, it is the standard form. But because this standard form is not that particularly good for this example, because if you go for the derivative, you can take the derivative. But cotangent will be converted to tangent, cotangent, tangent, cotangent, cotangent for never ends. Same here. So that is not good. So that's why let me just change like this. Negative of x squared by tangent of x, 0 over 0 form. Limit x tends to 0 minus of, now it is 0 over 0. Derivative is negative 2x and tangent x is second square x. If you apply 0, 0 by 1, that is equal to 0. So ln y equal to 0. So naturally y equal e to the power 0. e to the power 0 is 1. e to the power 0 is 1. So get here. One more form, x to the power 1 over x, 0 to the power infinity. Same thing, guys ln of y equal to limit x tends to 0 plus ln of x to the power 1 over x. ln property 1 over x ln x infinity times infinity form. Right? Infinity times infinity form. But uh, it is hard to convert this one in this form. So what we are going to do, just take like this. ln of x divided by x. Okay? And then just apply the limit, you are getting this form. One more exponential form, 0 to the power 0. So varieties of ex examples I considered over here. ln of x to the power x minus 1. Another example, just try to follow all these examples. It's easy. Ex all the examples are based on the exponential form. Look at over here. Limit, exactly same thing, 0 times infinity. Divide this one by 1 over 1 over x because x can always be written as 1 over 1 over x. That's what I did so that I can get the form 0 over infinity over infinity. L hospitals and the answer. Don't forget to write to convert your L and Y to Y, please. Otherwise, you are losing your points. And I think, guys, that is the end of uh, your syllabus for next test. Last two articles are left out. Yes, two articles are left out from this chapter, but because number of articles are there in this chapter and I don't want you guys to mess up your exam and that's why I just would like to stop over here for your second test. Left out two articles would be considered in your third test. So improper integrals, type 1, type 2, these things are left out. That's what we are going to do on Wednesday. But let me just stop over here for your second test. So you have five, six articles. The first thing is article 6.1 that was simple integration techniques, solve the integrations by use of or like this power rule, simple way. Second pa part was 6.2 was U into V rule, product rule. Integration is not linear in product and division and that's why one has to go through the another rule because the derivative is not linear. And here it is called to get the integration of u into v, one has to go through the Liet rule L I A T E L stands for logarithmic function, I means inverse function, A means arithmetic function, T means trick trick function, and E means exponential function. So L is logarithmic function like ln x, ln x square, like this. I means inverse function, sine inverse x, cosine inverse x. A is arithmetic function like x, x square, x cube like this. T means trick function like sine x, cosine x, tangent x like this. E means exponential function e to the power x, e to the power 2x, e to the power negative x like this. Whenever the product is given to you, whatever function comes first, you can choose that one as your u, second function as your v, and then apply integration u into v equal to u times integration v minus big sign of integral under the integral write down derivative of u times integral of v that is u into v rule and most of the times tabular rule will work but whenever you have some exponential function product of exponential function with trick function e to the power x sine x e to the power x cosine x e to the power 3x times sine 2x 
at that time the tabular form will not work right in tabular form we are taking all the derivatives of u and all the integrations of v and then we go for the cross arrows and alternating sign and that will give you the answer then after we started the trig integration first trig integration was sine to the power m cosine to the power n right when sine to the power m and cosine to the power n whenever you have m is odd n is odd like this so you can see sine factor cosine factor one sine factor cosine factor because the derivative of sine is cosine derivative of cosine is negative sine so that's why you have to save one sine factor and one cosine factor so that you can convert your function sine to the power m x times cosine to the power n x in a very simple form and you can go for the term by term integration by power rule so three four rules are there then after we went through integration tangent to the power mx second to the power nx so m is even because uh, now we are saving just not the secant but secant square x because derivative of tangent x is secant square x and if your n is even at that time we are saving secant x into tangent x factor factor because derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x so do this thing again follow the same technique like part 1 sin to the power m cosine to the power n and you can get the answer then after we went through another trick formulation that was the bigger angle sin mx cosin nx i gave you four different formulation c plus c or s plus s is 2 sc s minus s is 2 cs c plus c is 2 cc c minus c is negative 2 ss right so please keep in mind all these four forms because you are given the formula on the second page bottom part left side of the page you will be getting that formula and uh to convert your sin no, i mean say suppose you have product of two big angles product of two big big angles sin to the power 5x and cosine to the power 7x so whenever sin to the power sorry sin times 5x and cosine times 7x so always we go for the higher angle first so convert that function to cosine 7x times sin 5x like this and then divide and multiply it by 2 so you are getting 1 by 2 outside integration 2cs oh we can see your screen sir is s minus s so that would be converted in the form of s minus s linear parts and then you can go for the integration so big angle bigger angles can be integrated bigger trig angles can be integrated product can be integrated using these rules any doubt then after we went over so that's all about the trig functions then after we went over the method of partial fraction i told you that whenever you have a product of two functions in the denominator at that time always you can go for the method of partial fraction method of partial fraction will give you will let you uh, uh, will give you the separation of two functions in terms of addition and subtraction right once you have the product of two functions in the denominator can be separated out in terms of 1 over a minus 1 over b something like this form or 1 over a plus 1 over b and you can go for the integration very easily you have to have really good command whenever you are solving the examples based on method of partial fractions because you are using all your previous knowledge of integration to solve that examples so many times your examples are following some standard rules so many times you have to go you think about the perfect square of the denominator so that you can go for arc tangent formula so many times you have to go for the denominator's derivative must appear in the numerator so that you can go for ln function all these things we saw in method of partial fraction then after we went over the hyperbolic function am i right guys and hyperbolic function i told you that is the that is the combination of exponential function i explained to you drawing the figures to that e to the power x plus e to the power negative x divided by 2 is cosine hyperbolic x and e to the power x minus e to the power negative x divided by 2 that is a sine hyperbolic x there are different rules 
differ by sines mostly than the trig rules. Yeah, like cosine square theta plus sine square theta equal to one, but sine square theta minus cosine sine hyperbolic square theta minus cosine or cosine hyperbolic square theta minus sine hyperbolic square theta equal to one. So minus sign is there. So so many rules are there. You have to be very careful about these signs. Okay, the main purpose of getting or learning the hyperbolic function is to get the integral of some typical functions like integration 1 over x square minus a square square root integration 1 over square root of x square plus a square right that is equal to ln of absolute value of x plus square root of x square plus a square this can be obtained using the cosine hyperbolic inverse x integration 1 over square root of x square minus a square dx equal to ln of x plus square root of x square minus a square this can be obtained using sine hyperbolic inverse x and blah 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 and lot of other formulas so main purpose of getting or learning the hyperbolic function or mainly the inverse hyperbolic function is to get the integration of some typical formulation some typical function like 1 over square root of x square minus a square 1 over square root of x square plus a square in general so we solve some examples based on that one and then after i just try to refer our classwork so many number number of times guys two three four times just look at the videos and then after because that will give you lots of ideas and then after finally we went over the indeterminate forms six indeterminate forms are there first two are standard infinity by infinity and zero by zeros under two zero times infinity and infinity minus infinity can be converted into first any one of the first two forms then after three exponential forms zero to the power zero one to the power infinity and infinite power zero this whenever in exponential in indeterminate forms are there always use ln function and try to convert the exponent power as a coefficient and then after don't forget your ln y in terms of simply y by taking exponential both the sides so that's how we have finished article 6.1 to 6.6 .6 and all the revisions all the things we have done if you have any doubt please ask me now it's your turn from my side i am done as far as concern of your second test syllabus for tomorrow i told you that try to use your weekend and you guys promised me so please if you have some doubt i hope you guys have gone through the examples because i posted all the examples on friday and uh, i gave you these three days to solve your examples if you have any doubt you can ask me so only sessions I thought who is there? Please give your name first before you ask me something. Yeah, give your name, please. Who is there? It's Cooper. Cooper, okay. So only session 6.1 to 6.6 .6 are going to be on the test? Yes. That's what okay. I said. So, uh, so Point, yeah, and... see, I, I, let me finish. I gave an, I, I, I gave practice test for whole example 6, and this time I gave you answer keys too because i don't want you to mess up any of the things and if you look at that one i provided you answer keys examples and answer key examples and answer key. if you look at the almost back of the assignments you will find answer keys too that means yeah if you are getting something wrong that means please try to double check try to verify your example something must be wrong in your example if you are not getting the answer all the answers are true so please yeah and you are right just up to up to indeterminate forms right that would be the syllabus of your second test any other question for the test sir is it going to be about the same length as the last test or yes. would you expect it to be more because there's i mean no, a little bit no. shorter it questions won't, it won't be more because whenever i set up my exam at that time i always keep in mind this thing i'm always thinking about the student's point of view I can finish that exam, what your exam, just in 10 to 12 minutes. Yes, guys, trust me. If I start writing in 12 minutes, I'll be done. But I know, yes, sir. I know your thinking, your uh, student's point of view is new for this. All this syllabus is uh, that's new for you, and that's why you need some more time. So, trust me, guys, time will not be the constraint, and you will be finishing your exam in time. Time will not be the constraint. And if you need some more time, I don't mind. I will give you five, ten more minutes. We'll decide tomorrow. But eight to nine, that's the exam time, and nine to nine fifteen, that's the submission time. 
as you guys know this thing i want all your exams to be submitted on canvas please as we did last time don't send your exam or homework to me in my Victor. because in email i can't grade your exam here i can use the speed grader software on canvas and you can look at your mistakes your support some comments everything and i think that is useful to you am i right guys so thank you very much fine but main thing is that is for your benefit if you can submit your exam on canvas right thank you very much sir somebody asked me yesterday i forgot the name art i think so art is here or not no he is in my dfq i don't know anyway so uh, somebody asked me yesterday about the homework submission if you want some more time for the homework submission i don't mind i don't mind i can give you 2 3 more hours i just want your exams to be submitted before 9:15 but for exam i can give you i'm say homework i can give you 2 3 more hours and you can submit by noon okay so sir um let me finish time. at noon your canvas will be closed your submission part will be closed so exam before 9:15 homework before noon yes go ahead john I was just gonna say, um, so it it's it's okay that like I like I did last time. I submitted my test and then I resubmitted because that's the only possible way to do it is to resubmit and add another article onto it. So that's okay that we just like because I'm not changing my test. I'm just re adding on another another document. Oh my gosh. It's know. the only way that we could possibly do it. I mean, okay, that means you can submit the homework and the test simultaneously at a time, right? It won't allow yes. submit one by one. Means after some time. That's what okay. You're... Okay. No problem. Any other doubt, guys? If you want to ask me any of the things based on the syllabus, any of the things out of the syllabus, I mean to say about your exams like this. you guys are most welcome please go ahead girls any doubt no sir good uh boys please feel free guys i am very open for you guys so please feel free if you have any doubts i am here to help you out i just uh that's up your exam that's it I'm good, sir. Inverse hyperbolic function. I'd say that that really helps. I can just sir. give the hint for inverse hyperbolic function that always try to go through the inverse. I would say, from hyperbolic function, the hint is, I would ask, prefer to ask you the questions based on inverse hyperbolic function. Right. So please do that thing, and just derivative of hyperbolic function and some. inverse hyperbolic function that's it and whatever examples we went over i'm going to ask you almost the same thing guys so our class work will help you a lot those who want to go for just 70 or 80 i would prefer you guys to go through class notes my videos 5 6 7 times and one more thing guys uh you can i don't know on the few guys five seven guys they have subscribed my video so far so i just would appreciate if you can do that thing another thing is there is one icon is there if you click that icon you are going to get all my videos in a sequence in a series so you can uh, do that thing too if you want right guys if you want to submit some comments you are welcome any any anyway any other problem guys if you don't have any problems you can stop over here if you have any problems i'm here or if you want i can start the new syllabus i can start with the, i can go for the new articles we have enough time thank you very much sir that uh, that really helped out especially the last part um I, i'm not getting you john speak loudly can you hear me yes uh, i was going to say thank you very much i'm i'm good i mean i think that the last part helped me out significantly especially going over the last week i didn't understand it until you just went over it so that helped out a lot especially with the whiteboard i like that a lot the uh with the um the wacom the wacom worked really well i really like that 
thank you so much yeah i try i am trying you won't believe last week i went to vmi just for you guys twice see this is my vacom this is my vacom like tablet but unfortunately you know see if i write something we are habituated to look at our notes right if i want to write something that means my complete focus is there on my page vacom is different yeah i can't focus over here because if i focus over here my cursor goes somewhere else i have to focus on the screen and i need to write like this that's the only problem with me and it's it's ridiculous how can i focus i how can i look at there and write it down on the desk like this? <laughs> it's ridiculous yeah but i'm sorry guys and i took the help from one of my computer engineering friend and he said i don't know but i think that's how it works so he also gave up <laughs> Anyway, but yeah, whenever we require, I'm going to use that Vacom for you because now it is set up for me. I went to VMI twice. I took the help from help desk. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the enough help, but I think that's fine because, yeah. But if you guys like that one, I'm really glad we are going to use this one very frequently. Yeah, I like. It. I mean, it's maybe a struggle, but it, it works well. I appreciate it. You know why I set up this Vacom for you? Because next chapter, chapter number seven, I'm going to draw lots of figures. Figures are big there in the book, but I need to explain to you. how their figure goes how i can start drawing that figure how my strip will go how the strip will pass through one point to another point to cover my whole region what is the difference between x and y strips like this all these things we require that's the reason i just spent two i just i wasted i would say two full days tuesday and friday i was at bmi that's fine that's fine guys if you are fine if you are satisfied i'm happy Yeah, but finally I tried. I'm trying. I'm trying, but I think tablet is far better than this Vico, because here and this it looks like a full window, full window. Look at here. But if I put my cursor here, I'm out of the screen. I have to have. I have to leave these four, five points, and I can start from here, from here. And I'm getting only this window to write it down. Only this window. I have to leave this some space over here, 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 and here. All four sides. Anyway, guys, it's okay. It's okay. It happens. We all are learning, right? I didn't use Vacom or tablet in my last semester for online teaching in spring semester after pandemic started. But this time I'm using this one just to give you some good flavor. <laughs> But let's see. Yep. Any other doubt, guys? If you want to ask me something, yeah, because you know every time I was writing on the piece of paper and then after I just put the page like this so that you can so see that page. I pick up. That means you can now read on your screen. Please, guys. Again, I'm asking you. Since last thirteen minutes, I'm asking you. If you have some doubt, please ask me. You can refer. If you have not, I know most of. Sorry, most of you have not solved our practice test assignment. I forced you, but even though you didn't follow me, I know this thing. I know. But just try to uh, look at the practice test problems, and if you find some problems to be solved. please let me know otherwise we are going to meet tomorrow at 8 8 to 9 right guys tomorrow at 8 so let's stop here there is that 8 to 9 for the test 8 to 9 for the test 9 to 9 15 for the test submission but as we decided john and we that uh, now uh, yeah you have to i will trust you guys i am not going to watch you after 9 or 9:15 but i'll trust you so please don't make any changes after 9 or 9:15 whatever test you have submit your test and your homework simultaneously as soon as possible 12 noon is the deadline but i would appreciate if you can submit as early as possible right thank you sir no problem thank you, sir okay guys so what you prefer you want me to stop or uh, yeah john he doesn't want me to go out for the next article right this is, no no more article this is good <laughs> i know i know <laughs> i agree <laughs> girls what yes, you prefer sir. you want to go against john <laughs> no no sir i think <laughs> but are you good keep smiling don't be serious i don't like serious guys keep smiling please sir i'm always serious that's what i'm telling you i i know i am watching you don't be serious be sincere don't be serious
If you are serious, you can't do anything. But if you are sincere, you can do amazing things. So be serious. Don't want me to say be sincere. Don't be serious. Keep smiling. You know, smiling is the best medicine. Just smiling. Yes. It will keep you away from the cancer. Just smiling. And put your own efforts. Those who know time management. Yeah. Did I discuss that story with you? Roosevelt, Franklin Roosevelt. Yes, yeah, sir. Did I discuss that thing with you? No, that's in DFQ, not with these guys. I gave the name, right? In DFQ course, I didn't provide that name because I didn't want to disclose that name. Our president, past president, Roosevelt. Yeah, I gave one story to those guys. He, he worked hard for our country in his first term, first few months. Extremely hard worker. He used to work almost 80 to 19 hours a day. Yes. And uh, even though in after the evaluation of first year or second year, people were not happy with him. I don't know why, but people were not happy. And he asked his secretary that I am working really hard for 17 to 18 years, uh, 18 hours a day. And even though people are not happy, what's the reason? And he couldn't figure it out. But after some time, his secretary said that, please write it down on a separate piece of paper. Your all activities, whatever you have done in the last week or last couple of weeks. And he wrote it down, number of activities, more than 50, 70 activities. And then after, his secretary, he went through it and he said that out of this 70, how many activities, how many events were really, really important for you? Most important priority. And he figured it out that out, out of 70, whatever he did, almost 50 events that were not that, were not that important. He could have done those, those things, those 50 items after some times. And that's why he just missed the priority of the work. I'm talking about Roosevelt, our president. Yes, nice president, but that's his life story. And uh, yeah, then after he just try, started, prior, prior, prioritized his work. He made the priority that which are the most important things I can't avoid. Which are the things I can do after my most important things. Which are the things I can, some of the things I can do. It's not that important, but it's uh, essential. But uh, time is not a constraint for that. So he divided his job, his work into three different parts. And then he started working. And you won't believe, just in six, six months, people realized his work, his efficiency, his attitude, his hard work, and nation growth. So you must know that is called time management. You must know what are the events to be given, the more important, what are the things which are not useful or not that important compared to your high priority. So you have to give the priority to your work. And if you learn this thing, you will be amazing. You will do amazing job in your life. Trust me, guys. Yep, that is hard. And that will come to you only by maturity. You have to just try to be mature. Just try to keep these things in mind. Try to read this type of things, good things from uh, somebody's life. Right? Anyway, guys, we talked a lot. Let me stop over here. Again, last time, if you have any question, you can ask me. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. That means all of you are going to get at least A grade tomorrow right because you don't have any yes sir i like Absolutely. thank you yes, sir <laughs> of course of course all cooper, of you. cooper are you okay <laughs> cooper i want to see your like a smiling face cooper oh he left my gosh where is he cooper's right here cooper's oh he's mom. there he's there yes now he's smiling see <laughs> good anyway guys i'm just kidding you that's fine i'll see you tomorrow okay Take care, guys, and try to. I'm going to post this video also very soon. Please try to watch all these things. Thank you, guys. Thanks, sir. I'll see yeah. you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm.
Sir, I heard that you are yes. a big fan of meditation. Who told you? Yes, that's true. One of your uh, previous students is saying, ask him about meditation. You want to go for meditation, you guys? I think everyone left except you. Yeah, I wasn't going to take up class time asking you about it, but I figured I would ask. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Every day I spend at least an hour for the meditation. And when I was on the post at that time, I used to spend uh, five, 10 minutes daily in my classes for the meditation. Mm -hmm. And there are lots of benefits. Let's do one thing. Tomorrow you can, uh, you, know, you just, just remind me tomorrow, day after tomorrow, or we can start tomorrow. Mm -hmm. If everyone agrees in that case, I will just let you know the technique of meditation. We'll do the meditation for five, 10 minutes before you start your exam. Hopefully that will help you a lot. Mm -hmm. let's, let's start. But I have to ask everyone. If everyone agrees, I don't mind. We'll do the meditation for 10 minutes and then after we'll start our teaching. Good. Right? Just remind me tomorrow morning, okay? Yes, sir. Thank All you right. so much. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye.